Hello everyone, this is Fortuna and welcome back to my channel. So before going into today's video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I post a video. And if you haven't followed me on my Instagram handle, I will put a link in the description box, please do check out. So today's video is all about sunscreens. So in this video, we'll be knowing what are sunscreens, what are the types of sunscreens, how do they actually work. So let's start with the video. So sunscreen is a product which is applied to our skin in order to protect from harmful UVA and UVB radiations emitted by the sun. UV rays are responsible for premature aging and UVB are responsible for causing sunburns. Whereas UVA can also penetrate through the window glasses and UVB rays are blocked by the window glasses. It's always recommended to wear a sunscreen if even at home. So how do they work actually? Sunscreens work by either reflecting the rays or absorbing the rays by preventing it from entering into the skin. Sunscreens are available in the form of gels, lotions, sprays. Uh, you know, these days they are also available in foundations and lot of makeup products many medical organizations like american society for cancer has recommended the use of broad spectrum sunscreens in order to prevent from squamous sun carcinomas and melanomas when i say broad spectrum it means it blocks both uva and uvb rays so there are two types of uh, sunscreens first is physical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens Physical sunscreens create a barrier on the skin that filter out UV rays. They are also called sunblocks. They use mineral-based ingredients like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. On the other hand, chemical sunscreens absorb and scatter the sun's harsh UV rays and they contain ingredients like oxybenzone, homosalate, avobenzene and octisalate. You can see a white cast on the skin with physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens does not cause any white cast. So you might have come across something called SPF, which is written on all the products related to sunscreen like SPF 15, SPF 30, SPF 50 plus plus. So what is an SPF? So SPF is a sun protection factors which measures the fraction of UV rays entering into the skin. So for example, if you are applying a sunscreen of SPF 15, so it means only one by 15th fraction of the harmful UV rays are entering into your skin. So same goes with SPF 30, like one by 30th fraction of UV rays are entering your skin and SPF 50, one by 50th. So it's always recommended to choose a sunscreen which is SPF 15 or higher than that. So now I'll be listing out some of my favorite sunscreen products but before moving into it, these are some sun safety tips that everyone has to follow. It's better not to travel between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, because the sun rays are most intense at these times and if you can't avoid it then wear clothing which can cover the skin exposed area and also use a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF 15 or higher even on cloudy days and reapply it after every two to three hours and also try to avoid tanning it's not good for your skin so moving into our product list so the very first product which has made into my list is neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunblock of spf 50 plus it is a broad spectrum sunscreen and it has a pa triple plus so pa triple plus is a PA is the protection grade for UV rays. So if your sunscreen has PA plus, it means it, it gives mild protection against UVA rays. If it is double plus, it gives moderate. And if it is triple plus, it is the best sunscreen to work against UV rays. So Neutrogena is a chemical sunscreen. It means the ingredients are, I have already explained that there are physical and chemical sunscreens and this is a chemical sunscreen. And uh, so this uh, feels very light on the skin and it is non comedogenic which means it does not clog any pores. So it is also good for people who have acne prone skin can definitely use it. And this is again sweat proof, waterproof and it does not cause any white casting on your face. I personally think if you are going for sunscreens which are available in India, this is a must buy. So moving on to our next product which is Nivea Sun Protect and Moisture. It has an SPF 30. This is a broad spectrum 
sunscreen and it pr gives protection against both uva and uvb and it is pa triple plus so apart from these ingredients this uh, product also has glycerin and vitamin e mentioned as tocopherol acetate here so as you know tocopherol acetate is an antioxidant and glycerin is a very good moisturizing agent so this is a sun protect body lotion so you don't have to get you know worry about if it is gonna moisturize your body or not it will definitely moisturize and at the same time it will also protect you from the sunscreen and it gets absorbed very well into the skin and makes your skin feel smooth so it is definitely a must buy so moving on to our next product which is lotus herbals safe sun anti-tan body lotion again this is a body lotion which also moisturizes your skin and also gives protection against the sun so this has an spf of 25 p25 so this has an spf of 25 and it is pa triple plus and again it is a broad spectrum sunscreen so apart from these ingredients he, in this uh, body lotion we also have aloe vera extract vitamin b3 and vitamin e so vitamin b3 is nothing but niacinamide as you all know niacinamide is a very good anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties it have and vitamin e is an antioxidant and aloe is an amazing moisturizing agent so this um, is again if you are someone you know who are into like you know i want to use plant-based products or you know into like herbals and all you can definitely buy this it is a body lotion again uh, and it can cause a slight amount of white casting i am completely fine by using any sunscreen which has like you know if you have physical sunscreens like titanium dioxide or zinc oxide obviously they're gonna ca cause a white casting on your skin and i'm completely fine with it um you know some people have some people have their own preference so it's your choice what kind of sunscreen you want to choose for me i am okay with either of them because all i need is them to protect me against the harmful rays until unless they are doing their job i don't have any problem with that so the next product is also from lotus herbals which is lotus herbals safe sun uv screen matte gel this is a face sunscreen and it has an spf of 50 and it is pa triple plus and also it is a broad spectrum um, sunscreen this so this is a gel sunscreen it feels very light on the face especially in summers I know if you are someone who has oily skin, you really don't want to, you know, put all those, you know, heavy cream based sunscreen or lotion based sunscreen. You can definitely uh, choose this sunscreen. It is gel based and it absorbs quickly into your skin. If your skin type is oily, then you should definitely choose this sunscreen. Apart from this, this also has two good plant based ingredients which are vanilla extract and horse chestnut extract you know if you are someone who is looking for gel sunscreen this is the right one for you so moving on to our next products which are lip balms so there are some lip balms which has some sunscreen ingredients in it so the first one is a body shop vitamin e moisture protect lip care so this one has an spf of 15 and it is pa triple plus and this has uh, also one good ingredient which is vitamin e this is very good uh, it moisturizes your lips especially you have dry chapped lips uh, you know you should definitely go with this uh, lip balm so the next uh, lip balm is uh, sebamed lip defense it has an spf of 30 and it gives pa again triple protection so this also has a, a vitamin e in it it feels a little more moisty uh, when compared to body shop one so it depends on your own preference like how chapped your lips are how dry are your lips you can choose based on that then we have another lip balm which is neutrogena lip moisturizer it has an spf of 15 this lip balm also works against both uva and uvb rays and it is also parabens uh, free uh, and the speciality of this uh, lip balm is it does not has any color additives no extra uh, ingredients and also it, this does not have any fragrance 
so people who are searching for any lip balms which are fragrance free then this is it yeah but also uh, all these three lip balms which i have mentioned they does not have any color uh, i mean they does not give you any like you know you know like other lip balms have a little bit of tint these three lip balms does not have any kind of tint they just moisturize your lips i personally prefer uh, using lip balms which does not have any tint that's my preference so i would like to include some of the other sunscreens which are not officially launched in india so these are some honorary mentions the first one is la roche posay sunscreen uh, which is a broad spectrum and has a, it has an spf of a 60 it is available in both uh, cream form and also in the gel form uh, i am telling it but yes this is the best one especially if you have like you know any problematic skin this one is works really good the next one is elta md skincare uv clear broad spectrum spf 46 this one also has a niacinamide and a zinc oxide like most of these sunscreens are like uh, mineral sunscreens which means the, these has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in them uh, this one Alta MD I have heard from a friend I did not use it uh, this one I have heard from my friend that it is it works amazing if you have like acne prone skin my video will never end without me mentioning at least one product from K Beauty this is this brand is called purito it is a south korean brand this is called centella green level safe sun spf 50 with p8 triple plus you know centella asiatica is works so good when you have acne prone skin so yes this sunscreen works really good so that's all for today's video uh, hope you guys like it please like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, that's it for today. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!